Hello again and welcome to March West Junction TMD. Today I'm going to show you some new uh, locomotives of rolling stock that I've uh, purchased for the railway and also uh, I'm just going to show you some little details that I've added to enhance the look of the railway as well. So thank you for stopping by and uh, enjoy. Okay, something new that I've added to the layout is this barra crossing. Now, the actual barra crossing is made from coffee stirrers, and I'm quite lucky because uh, a friend of ours has got a catering business, and uh, she gets hold of these, and they're in like a bag of 5,000 or something saff like that. And I normally just have some off, uh, off her for uh, doing these little projects. And basically, I'll get the coffee stirrer, cut it to size, removing the round ends obviously and then uh, I paint them with rail match uh, sleeper grime and uh, also I've just gone over with a, a dry brush of white just some uh, normal acrylic white very lightly very dry just to uh, help the grain stand out uh, so you can just see a bit of the detail uh, the actual sign the warning sign which is just here uh, that's from scale model scenery and the uh, key clamp safety barrier that's from uh, uh, West Hill Wagon Works and it's quite good actually because the, the £1.25 for four and uh, these are them this is the pack uh, they come pre-coloured uh, but I think they're quite a nice little detail they're uh, plastic as well i suppose they're laser printed but as i say they just come ready to plant and it's a nice little uh, detail to add to your layout they're good for going round by uh, the buildings where you've got uh, a door that's leading out and it's close to the tracks so they're a nice little uh, item to purchase and like so i think they're one pound 25 which is nothing you know i don't i think if you printed them yourself it'd cost that much so fair play to West Hill Wagon Works. Uh, the figure is from the Backman range, uh, from the, the engineers, line side engineers pack, which I thought just added a little bit more uh, interest and a bit more color to the layout. Uh, the reason the Barra Crossing is uh, staggered the way it is like this is because I've looked at uh, Google photos and things like that. And where you've got the stairs, coming down from the signal box and then final steps you wouldn't really have it where the steps right up against the track that uh, encourage them to go left or right so i thought just to add a bit of interest I'd, I'd put this safety barrier up so they can't obviously walk straight onto the track and then they come across and it's staggered and plus it helps line up with the platform as well this side i just thought it was a nice little bit of detail and just adds that little bit of interest because uh, the majority of them that I see are always in a straight line, you know, straight row across the tracks, and as for it just looked uh, a little bit different. Okay, something that I needed to do was to try and improve uh, this front area. Uh, of the layout so I've gone over it again with some short static grass uh, I've still got to build this up and uh, to enhance it a little bit better because it's a bit uniformed at the moment so I want to try and put some darks in there slightly longer in places because this would naturally be overgrown uh, what I have done is uh, purchased some of the uh, litter that you get from scale model scenery 
which is uh, this pack here. And you get a small sheet with the Tesco bags and cans of pop and bits of newspapers and stuff like that, which we've all seen before. I think someone said this was a mattress. So that'd be interesting if we try and uh, build that up and uh, make it look more dense so it looks like a, a mattress. Uh, just to add a bit more clutter to the uh, the front end of the layout, so it adds a bit of interest. But something I have added, which I don't think you can see at the moment, because they're just little specks, are these three little items here, which come from uh, the Woodland Scenics range, which if you saw one of my videos a while ago with the Wardy Club, I purchased this big pack of over 100 items uh, for £10. And if I just zoom in, you can just about make out what they are. And they're three little rabbits. You've got one there, one there, and one there. And I'm just using this uh, coffee stirrer just to show you how small they are. They are so fiddly to stick down. It took me ages uh, to put them in. But they are a nice little addition. Now these come with a hunting pack, which has got a guy that has shot one. There's a dog that's got one in its mouth. And also there's a dog that's just uh, running, a little hunting dog, which I'll show you now. And uh, here he is, the little hunting dog. I think they're called beagles. Uh, and it's a nice little detailed dog, actually, pre-painted. But uh, he's quite nice with a little uh, green neckerchief type collar on him. And again, I thought this would add just a bit of interest to the front of the layout. Uh, what it is, I've got a four-year-old granddaughter. And every time she comes into the garage to have a look, she's always intrigued by what's new and what she hasn't seen before or something that's changed. So I always try and add some little bits so she's got something to look for uh, on the layout because she likes seeing the trains run, but she also likes to see all the different details and uh, point out what she thinks they are, i.e. like if there's a, a mum and child, she'll, she'll probably name them and things like that. So this dog will eventually get a name because uh, she comes up with these weird and wonderful names for people and... Uh, animals so again like i say it's just adding that bit of detail and again what i'd like to do is uh get some litter around here add some more different static grasses to it to add a bit of texture and a bit of different color a bit more bushes as well so it's a bit more overgrown Okay, one of the new locos that I've got on the layout is this uh, absolutely stunning Trans Pennine Express Class 68 and it's number 031 and uh, its product code is 4D-022-022. Now this is the second one of these I've got. This one's called Felix and I absolutely love the livery. I think it's awesome and uh, if you've seen a uh, previous video I've uh, been up in York and they've got these doing the, one of the Trans Pennine runs and uh, I think they're absolutely out outstanding. They're very noisy in real life, really loud because you can hear them in the station and the uh, the noise, uh, I don't know if it's amplified by the roof but it's uh, they do stand out more than the other trains that were in the station at the time. The detail's brilliant as usual. Uh, with it all pre-fitted at the one end and the coupling hook at the other. And I think for the money, this wasn't a bargain, it was normal price. I paid, uh, I think it was uh, £135 from Monk Bar Models. Uh, but it is a really nice model. Now, what I need to show you though, there is a problem with it. And uh, it's, I didn't know about it until I went to uh, the Wardy Model Railway Club on Tuesday, because I go every Tuesday. And uh, a friend of mine there, Jacob, pointed something out. The front end 
on both ends uh, should have two little grab rails here and uh, unfortunately they forgot to fit them uh, which isn't the end of the world because what they're doing which I'll put a link in the description below because I didn't know about this is they're doing a free fitting service so basically you go onto the website via the link that I'm going to put below and there'll be a form to fill in and then they're asking you to take the body off and send it to them uh, free post so you don't have to pay and they'll fit the handrails for you and return it free of charge so fair play to them they've acknowledged they've got an, an issue and you have these issues in production because I'm involved in manufacturing myself and uh, it just somehow missed the process on certain models and uh, like I say you just post it to them free just make sure you get a receipt to prove that you've posted it and uh, they'll have it for I think the same six to eight weeks because of the backlog they'll fit the handrails free of charge and uh, return it to you so uh, absolutely fantastic uh, after service by Dapol so and now we'll move on to the next item Okay, my next uh, new locomotive is this class 87, number 010, named King Arthur. Now, uh, Hornby released this in the old Lima tooling and also did this new upgraded tooling, which I think is absolutely outstanding. Uh, its product code, if anyone's interested, is R3582. And it is a really nice model. It runs superbly. You've got switches underneath to have day and night time running. The side windows have a representation of the uh, the well, you don't it's, you know, engine room, but it's electric, obviously. So it's not a, a diesel engine in there. So I suppose electric uh, generators or whatever they have inside. I'm not hundred percent. If anyone knows, you can always comment below. But it is a really really good detailed model so uh, and the livery I find is uh, spot on I wanted one of these to match my driving van trailer that I've purchased the one that I had all the light bleed issues uh, just to uh, run at the end of it and I'll you'll have some uh, pictures of the train running with that on at the far end in intercity what I do like about this which some people probably judge before is the uh, pantograph it's pausable for the height, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Like with the Backman uh, Class 90s, uh, if you buy the correct chip, you can set the height of it. Well, this is perfect for me. You haven't got no spring-loaded uh, return that always pushes you up. And on my layout, it's the same with uh, a lot of layouts out there, like uh, Dean Park and that, where... We've only put the masts in, so you've still got access to clean your track. We haven't actually put the wires in, just to give a representation of overhead wiring, uh, the catenary. So uh, this is absolutely brilliant, because I can actually preset this one without messing about, and I know it's not going to catch. It stays there. It's quite stiff as well, so it's not like a, a loose, floppy uh, pantograph. And to be fair, it's, I think it's plastic, and it's quite well detailed and fine. The roof detail is really, really good. Quite impressed with it. Now, as you know on my channel, I'm, I'm a sucker for bargains. And uh, I don't normally look, try and say what bargains I've had if, unless someone else can still purchase them. But unfortunately, you won't be able to purchase this one because it is actually second hand. And uh, I bought it from the Stafford uh, Toy Fair. Now, Stafford Toy Fair is one of the best toy fairs that I go to. It's reasonable to get in. I think it's four pounds. There's quite a, there's two halls of traders, sometimes three, depending how busy it is. And there's quite a lot of railway stuff there. And uh, this one stall that I bought this off, uh, they had it up for 85 pounds. 
and they had a 56. They had a few were uh, Hornby locos, uh, and unfortunately, they managed to buy them off someone that had passed away, unfortunately. It was his collection, and it's never been run. They used to keep them all in cabinets uh, just for display. And uh, when I asked what they'd take for cash as well, they said you can have it for uh, £82. So I think 82 quid for the later generation 87s is an absolute steal. But like I say, unfortunately, it's not a promotion that go to this place and you'll get these bargains. But every time I go there, I always pick up something. I mean, there's one store that has these boxes and boxes of like, uh, you'd say junk, but they're not. And there's scenery stuff in there. I mean, Hornby gravestones are in there and they're knocking them out a pound a, a, a pack, but they've been used, they're second hand. It's all second hand stuff. But the one store in there is just selling all this second hand stuff at like pound, two pound prices. Uh, I mean, I bought, uh, is it Prosies, the Batman range, uh, auto ballista, and it was three quid, brand new, still sealed in the package, but it was second hand because they bought it off someone. So you can get these uh, bargains at these shows. And I, the way things are getting tight now, it's worth just saying, you know, where these places are. Like, And I always recommend going to the Stafford show. They do one in Coventry and they do one at the NEC. The Coventry's hit and miss. The NEC, I haven't been for a walk. It's quite expensive to go in now. Uh, I think it's free parking. But don't hold me to that because if it's not free parking, it's something ridiculous like twelve pound. So uh, you know it's worth checking out these uh, toy fairs. All right, we'll move on to an actual bargain that you can purchase. Okay. Now what we have here is a class 122 bubble car and this is in Network South East livery and it's uh, a route learning uh, vehicle. Now this is really nicely detailed. Its product code is 4D-015-006. And it's number 975042. So it's in departmental mental numbering. Excuse me, that's the, the neighbours just uh, letting his wife know to open the garage behind. <laughs> also, it was numbered 55019. Now, fair play to Dapo with this. They've uh, even added the actual simulated lights at the front as well. And it is a really nice run. Now, with these, it's important that you run them in. So it's at both ends, those simulated lights, which is a nice little touch to add. Uh, and it's quite a nice little livery as well. I do like these toothpaste livery. I think it's uh, quite attractive. Now, why I say this is a bargain, and you still can get these, Rails of Sheffield are knocking these out for just under £80, £79 something, uh, which I think is an absolute steal. So it's like a 50% saving on the RRP price. And you still can get them. They, they advertised them today. When I got up today, I had an email with an advertisement showing these as well. So it's not one of these, oh, look what I've bought, but no one else can get it. It's actually, you can still purchase one of these. And uh, also, they're doing a load all one, which I'm tempted to buy because I do like the load all livery, which is another route learning vehicle. And uh, the load all's the, in the black and the orange livery, which is quite attractive. So I'll attach a link below uh, in the description on how to uh, get one of these, which is uh, quite an attractive model for the price. We've, the way things are at the moment with the energy crisis and uh, people's uh, tightening the belts, I think this is quite a, a good bargain and people need to know about it so they can uh, treat the sales without uh, breaking the bank. Okay, the final item I'd like to show you is this uh, Backman Queen Mary brake van. In this uh, 
electrification branding, which uh, I'm into all my departmental stuff and that. I mean, uh, and this looks quite good. It's like a ready brown colour uh, with the warning at both ends, warning stripes, uh, and it's a nice model. Now, I'm showing you this because you still can get these from uh, Kerno Model Center. It's one of their limited editions. They do a, a, a one with a blue, light blue at the top as well, which I've already got. And I paid the same price. These, they're not gonna make it for under 20 quid. Now, uh, to be honest, I bought it because I thought I might have a go at painting it off, but because the livery is applied so well, I uh, decided to uh, keep it. And I might buy another one just so I can paint it up. Uh, but they are really nice models. They are getting on a bit. You know, uh, they've changed the couplings on them a bit now because they used to have like a more the larger D size coupling, and they have changed them to that type. But they're still not uh, the NEM fitted couplings. Uh, but for twenty quid, you can't complain. Well, actually, I picked this up for just over sixteen quid because I've got some credit with them. Because if you buy from Kerno Model Centre, you accrue points. And the guy said to me, "Do you want to use any of your points?" I said, "How much are going?" I got three pounds something. So it's uh, ended up being just over sixteen pounds, which I don't think is too bad. And like I say, this isn't no, 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 no. This is what I've bought. This is you can still get these for twenty quid on their website. Uh, the product code, if anyone's interested, is thirty three dash eight two five Y, and uh, it is nice model. So there you have it. Okay, that brings me to the end of this video. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have making it. And like I say, uh, check out Kerno for their bargains and uh, Rails of Sheffield. And also your local uh, toy fairs. What well, used to be called Swap Meets years ago. And uh, don't forget, if you buy one of these, I, I think there's four affected without the uh, grab rails by the cab to check the link out below so you can send your body off and get it uh, sorted free of charge from Dapo. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you for stopping by and uh, I really appreciate your support, all my subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers that have uh, recently joined and I uh, hope you enjoy the content. And uh, don't forget to share like and subscribe uh, if you're not already a subscriber and uh, once again thank you for stopping by and i'll see you again soon bye for now